It's been far too long since I've spilled Republic blood. I haven't had this much fun since our time on Droman Kars. And once again we stand triumphant against our foes. We have secured our base and sent the Republic troops whimpering back to their master. Malcolm's weakened. If we hit him now, he won't have time to recover. Decisive and ruthless. Lovely. If I know the Supreme Commander, he's already plotting the Republic's next move. Strike teams Orek and Greg suffered heavy losses. The survivors await your orders. <sighs> Rosina must be loving this. But her victory belongs to her ally. You compile the report on the Alliance Commander. What's your recommendation? He's a hardened veteran with extensive personnel and resources. Even with our numbers, I doubt our chances in a head-to-head -head battle. Asymmetrical tactics would be best. A surprise attack. Surgical and precise. Then we'd better shock the Alliance Commander. Gather your top engineers and rally the troops. I'm coming to Iocaf. What are we looking at? The Republic has erected a formidable base. Their defenses are impressive, but they lack the supplies needed for a long campaign. If we lay siege to Malcolm's base, we can suffocate the Republic offensive and win the war. You know your father better than any of us. How do we break him? Malcolm and I aren't close. But he's not hard to read. He thinks like a soldier. Measures his life in ground lost and battles won. Every loss is an opportunity. He's going to prey on our overconfidence. And then spring his trap right when we let our guard down. If I were Malcolm, I'd stage the ambush the second we enter his base. We'd be trapped inside, running blind, and locked in the Republic's sights. What's stopping us from making a run on the superweapon? Several thousand Republic troops. They'd corner us before we gained access. If we want that super weapon, we have to take the base down first. Indulge me for a moment. My scouts recently found a weapons factory. It's guarded by a host of Iacath droids and filled to the brim with dangerous toys. What do you say we plunder the factory, then use what we find to annihilate Malcolm's base? Will Iacath's weaponry be enough to break your father's defenses? Malcolm won't see it coming, which means it's the best shot we have. Coordinate with Lana and get ready to attack the base. Theron and I will take the weapons factory. Is that what I think it is? One of Iocath's original creators. Looks like it's been dead for centuries. Well, let's hope it stays that way. I'm only interested in weapons, not the bodies they left behind. I'm on it. All right, buddy. Let's see what you know about these weapons. Iocath's even more impressive in person. Its technologies will defend the Republic soon enough. We've nearly finished construction, but the schematics are missing key pieces of data. Time is short, Captain. Find a workaround. Right away, sir. We can't fail now. The fate of the Republic rests on our shoulders. Jack. I'd say that's enough firepower to get Malcolm a run for his money. Download every last file. We need to know how to use these weapons, and how to build more of them. Give me one minute. Huh. This place used to be the super weapons control room. Looks like our crispy friend here was the last one to use it. Over a millennia ago. Can you control the super weapon from here? <sighs> Looks like I'm shut out. 
When it went on lockdown, it must have closed all outside access. It looks like Iocath's creators were fighting a civil war. One side built the weapon, but something went wrong. The super weapon's more dangerous than we thought. It wiped out all life on this planet. The Sith Emperor consumed all life on Nathema and Xyost. Could he be behind this weapon? That or it's what drew him here in the first place. We may never know. According to this data, it was tested on four different planets before Iocath. All successful. Over 10 trillion lives gone. This isn't a weapon. It's the apocalypse. If the Empress hears about this, she may try to seize the weapon and turn it against us. My lips are sealed. There. I've downloaded Arsenal blueprints, fusion matrices, everything our army needs to gear up with the latest and greatest Iocath weaponry. Now, let's get out of here before... that happens. Commander, we need to talk. Time's short, Lana. What's on your mind? I've been thinking. How did the Empire, the Republic, and the Eternal Alliance all find the superweapon within minutes of each other? The timing's too perfect. It can't be a coincidence. Exactly. We were acting on intel from an anonymous source. And it turns out so was the Empire. What's your point? I cross-referenced both sets of data. And they're identical. I'm confident the Republic received the same intel. Whoever tipped us off wanted everyone to clash over the superweapon. They wanted to start a galactic war. Don't breathe a word of this to anyone. We can't be sure who to trust. I couldn't agree more. The Shroud would normally be a suspect, but we've already cracked that mystery. And then there's Darth Jadis, or a rogue agent inside the Republic SIS. Let's not rule out Sith intelligence. The point is, there are too many suspects to count. Find me a name. I'm on it, Commander. Welcome back, Commander. Meet the Crimson Talon. A joint Imperial Alliance production, outfitted with Iacath weaponry and ready for you to pilot in battle. I can think of no better way to face the tide of our enemies. May it chew through our foes. Incoming call. Supreme Commander Malcolm, have you called to surrender? Not quite. Consider this a friendly warning. My engineers have discovered a back door into the superweapon. Once they've gained access, we will turn the weapon against you and win this war for the Republic. An attack against me is an attack against Theron. Would you really sacrifice your son? I had a son, once. He dedicated his life to defending the Republic. I dedicated my life to the fight for peace. And when you bowed to the Eternal Empire, I decided to fight back. That's why I joined the Alliance. And your idealistic war nearly destroyed the Republic. Goodbye, Agent Sean. Damn it, Malcolm. You're better than him, Theron. He's only trying to break you, right when we need you most. I don't need a pep talk. The walker is yours, Commander. Lead our charge. Crush the Republic. Where's Malcolm? Right here. Last chance. Surrender, or I activate the superweapon. No deal. Theron, you wouldn't. It's father-son moments like this that make me glad I never had kids. You've chosen this tyrant over me? Over the Republic? Yes, I have. Don't do it, Malcolm. Radiant city, bathed in light, forged by the molten gods. Malcolm! Superweapon is glorious. 
and it belongs to the Republic. I've got a bad feeling about this. The guards sense your fear, Commander. No! The gates are closing! Sir, your connection to the throne is breaking down. Super weapon controls are failing! No. I can still see it. I know what I must do. They're coming. It's too late, Theron. We can't give up now. save you. You can't save everyone, Theron. Your father died fighting for what he believed in. Sometimes that's all that matters. You're right. Thank you. Commander, I'm detecting massive power spikes at the superweapon facility. Let me guess. That's bad. More like catastrophic. The weapon core is charging and no one's at the controls. If you don't deactivate it soon, it may obliterate the entire planet. How soon until the weapon fries Iocath? We're talking minutes. He'll never make it in time. Hold on. With the shields down, I can remotely slice into the mainframe from here. Maybe buy you enough time to manually kill the weapon at the source. Do whatever it takes. In the meantime, tell our forces to take shelter. And Lana, I love you. I love you too. Come back safely, Commander. Eternal Fleet, move into position and charge all forward batteries. It's time to knock out a superweapon. 